Hi. <laughs> I thought I would do another vlog because I really enjoyed doing that, that vlog last weekend. It should be up by now. Um, I have to, it's Tuesday. And I realized in my last vlog I was chewing like a goat. Literally like a goat. Anyway, it's Tuesday. I need to meet my sister. She has my microphone. Um, and then I also need to go to Primark. As I said in my last vlog, I have ugly inside clothes. So I need to go and get some pajamas. And then I want to get some socks as well because I want to do a shoot this weekend. And what else? Go to Marks and Spencer to get some fries. So yeah, let's go. You're going to play my me. So, am I in the right section? I, I believe I am in the right section. Oh, there's a baby crying. You don't cry. Oh, I hate, I hate hearing kids cry. So this is what I wanted, but they only have a small left. So I'm gonna take it and try it on. The plan wasn't to try anything on, but I like these. And then let's see what else is in here. That's cute. I like these. They have my size. And I have to get these instead. These are so cute. These are definitely a bit of me. I might get these instead. So far, so I've got these. Well, this is a large, and large is usually really big. I would usually get a medium. So I've got those so far. This I'm going to have to try on because they're a small, and I would obviously want a medium. And then if I get either bottom, I'm going to get this top to go with it. So it's just like a cute tank top and it has like this like hold at the underneath which is really nice and then i think this would be cute around the house um especially when i'm when i'm like vlogging and stuff i feel like i don't have anything to like just throw on and i could wear this with this as well and then i like these but the fabric the fabric this fabric tears really easily from what i remember because it's really cheap um but let me go and try on the blue pants and then from there we would know what we're doing guys so after all of that i literally tried on the pants i just thought to myself i'm gonna go to h&m h&m usually have a nice spread of items um so i'm gonna do that and then if we don't have anything that i like then i'll come back but then i just didn't want to give primark all my options I know H&M have nice pajamas so let's do that so first stop I found these shorts so you get two of them for $12.99 which is pretty decent a large again I'm gonna a medium but I'm gonna take whatever I can find because it looks like does this actually like pull? yeah because it looks like a medium is just always gonna be taken so I like these and then um, that lady's over there but I'm gonna go over there and get like that tank top they have pink as well I didn't see the pink if they have pink in a medium I'll get this instead because I love pink let's see mm. you'll get the pink I love the pink and they have it in the medium so it can be even nicer or the blue I think I'm gonna go for the pink the blue's given the blue's given prison <laughs> so I'm gonna go with this and then oh I'm so happy that I came in with H&M. See, my brain just clicked and was like, try H&M. So let's put these down. And then I want to get that top. Let me, see. okay. Oh, the dilemma. I'm actually about to try to get the top that I wanted. So I'm going to get these shorts. And the top that I wanted had that inner, like, remember it had that, like, inner thing to hold my boobs. I forgot there's music in here, so hopefully I can I can like edit it properly or like block out the sound in the back.
instructions of us and I'm off. You have to scan your receipt as you leave. And I walked away and the lady was like looking at me like I was crazy. I was like, what? And she was like, a receipt? I said, a receipt. I mean, this is a place that is known for theftery. Is that the word? Oh, I'll show you what I got when I got home. You should have saw what I scanned anyway. Um, next stop is, I need to buy a shampoo for my wig. I need to buy some Tresemme shampoo and conditioner. And then I need to get some Marks and Spencer to get some socks because they don't have any the socks I want, just like normal crew ankle socks in white. They don't have any here or in H&M, which is insane. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I said to myself I'm gonna try and look nicer for you guys but I can't I can't <laughs> I literally just <laughs> so I came home I had to cook dinner and then I had to go to Mars and Spencer oh my god I just have to show you guys this like these are the best fries on the planet just put it on one second these are the best fries in an air fryer these oh I literally bought another pack because I knew I knew that my boyfriend wanted them for dinner. So I literally try my best to always have a pack of these in the freezer. Oh delicious. Um but then what did I do? I made um he wanted shawarma, so I made him shawarma and it was really, really delicious. And yeah, so I'm gonna show you my haul quickly before I wind down. Um so I ended up getting the carotene smooth, I don't know. Tresemme, I know Tresemme is good for wigs and stuff, so I just bought Tresemme, I don't know why, the quarantine, the hair is raw hair and it's a tiny bit frizzy, so I thought quarantine, quarantine helps smooth, so I thought this would be good, and then I ended up buying one of these, because I wanted to make sure I actually liked it and it fit me, um, I'm not going to try it on right now, Maybe I'll try it on for you guys. Actually, I'm going to have a shower tonight, so I'm going to probably wear this and um, the shorts. I'm going to probably wear that. That'd be a cute pyjama um, look. And I feel like I'm going to be one of those wives that constantly call their husbands. Because literally the whole time I was calling my boyfriend, I was like, do you like this? Where did you get this? Do you want this? Do you think you like it? And yeah, he was just like, yeah, no, yeah. And then I bought... I ended up buying this robe. It's just a white robe that I can wear in the house. Well, it's not gonna look nice underneath this, but just a robe coming out the shower. Um, actually, no, we didn't wear this out the shower, but just in the house because I have really ugly clothes. So like this and this, and then a pair of these shorts would just be cute. So I'm gonna like start building up my house because this is how I look at the time hoodie track pants yeah I need to look a bit cuter <laughs> in the house so um yeah so yeah this was 20 pounds I wouldn't I wasn't, well it's not expensive but it's in my head Primark should nothing in Primark should cost more than 15 pounds 10 pounds <laughs> and then I bought this is well, I used this once before the second time buying it, and I love this cream. It's a Veen Hydrating Fluid Cream. I have my skin, I don't know what my skin is. My skin just goes through so much, but this doesn't sting. It moisturizes, it hydrates. Um, I love the application of it. It's like, um, pump it like this. Um, and I really, really like this. I use the Avene mist not mist thermal water i use the eye cream the eye cream is brilliant 
um, because I get really dry eyes. If I come out the shower and I don't cream my like eye area, especially my eye area in this area and here actually, it gets dry, like dry. Um, so I started using Avene um, and then I tried CeraVe, CeraVe, it stings my face and doesn't hydrate, moisturize, but this and the eye cream, chef's kiss, chef's kiss i accidentally bought the spf and it has white cast so that's just a waste of money um that was like a month two months a few months ago it's just sitting there and i don't really have any um colored friends <laughs> i would i mean not colored friends non-colored friends for me to give it out so yeah that was my haul i didn't end up finding any socks so i'm gonna have to look for socks this week on Thursday, I think Thursday I'm leaving the house. I'm gonna wash my wig tomorrow. I'm gonna keep this out here so I don't forget. I'm doing my hair on Friday. Um, so I need to wash my hair at least tomorrow morning. My aim is to get up early, do some work, wash my wig. Yeah. And then just guess what I'm gonna do tonight. What's the time? It should be about eight. What's the time? It's about 8 30. So I'm gonna give myself about an hour. For an hour, I'm gonna play GTA. I've been playing this since I was a kid. And my boyfriend's like, we don't play anything to like wind down or do anything to like wind down apart from like go on social media. And I was like, true. And he's like, why don't you play like PlayStation? And he has this game, like an adventure game, but I wasn't really with it. So he said, why don't you get Grand Theft Auto? And then it was £50 and he was about to buy it. And then someone told me, you know, you can get the physical copy for 15 I said, well, damn, that's £35 saved. So I bought this. It came today. And I'm going to go and play with my friend online. And that's going to be me. Um, by 9.30, I should have a shower. By 10, 10, 15, I should be in bed. Latest, 10.30. Pushing it. Do a prayer. Thank the Lord. And I will most probably see you guys tomorrow. I'm actually, if not tomorrow, then I'll see you on Thursday. Bye. just want to show you guys the pyjamas before I go to bed. My flat's in absolute state. There's like clothes everywhere, as you can see. But the shorts, I could have gotten a large. Um, I went based on Primark's. On, in Primark, a large is huge on me. And a medium is literally perfect. And I guess in H&M, a large is a large. Because these are a bit tight. But it's okay. The top is Primark. And this was a small. Do you get what I mean? Like, but in H&M, I could never be a small. So the sizing is just definitely wrong. This is Primark. And this was a medium. And it fits perfectly. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go back and get the blue because it's so cheap. Well, it's like what 13 pounds for two pairs. So I think I'm gonna go back and get the blue, but in a large, and then get a couple more of these tops. They have these tops in different colours, and I just think this is so nice. This goes all the way to the bottom. Um, and I'm gonna try another Primark. I don't know if I go to another Primark, I'm gonna see if they can get those stripy pants because I love my pajamas. Good night. Um, I said I was gonna see you guys maybe on Thursday. Oh yeah, I still have, I have like cream all over my face. I just had a shower. Um, I was playing GTA. <laughs> I literally said, said to myself, I'm gonna spend 30 minutes. I spent like 45, that thing is addictive. Um, yeah, I'm gonna probably see you guys on Thursday. Actually, tomorrow I'm going to get my armpits waxed, but that's not like anything like fun to watch. So I'm not gonna vlog that. I'm going to get my armpits waxed tomorrow. And then, yeah, I said, I said I'm going to see you on Thursday. So, good night. Have a nice sleep. Guys, I'm in a boots and they have the Fuchsia Flex. You look over it. Anyway, um, they have it. I'm in the Liverpool Street one. I'm going to buy it because the one I got in Harvey Nichols isn't here. Today's Thursday and it's meant to be here a minute ago. It's meant to be here today so i'm just at nyx i wanted to see if i can get like a purplish lip liner but i have one from destiny beauty so i think that should be okay they don't really have much of an option they have revolution in here let's see if they have like a pinkish lipstick so i decided not to go and buy a cuffing i'm just going to eat a, eat a beaver um yeah i called my boyfriend he was like you're being ridiculous so 
I'm just gonna wait. I really wanted to wear it this weekend. I'm just gonna wait and then hopefully it comes. If it, even if it doesn't come, I, I was living fine without the lip gloss, let's be honest. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go and get a snack. I want, a, I want rice. I want Leon. That's why I would love Leon. So I'm gonna see. I haven't been to Liverpool Street in years, not years, relax. Wow, I'm so dramatic in a long time. Yeah, Leon is still here. I'm gonna go and get, go and get some Leon. I really want that. They have this satay rice thing. I want that. Um, yeah, and Liverpool Street has changed so much. Before, they have like, now they have like, they've extended it and there's so many other stores. Um, like, Costa, um, Body Shop. There's even a Marks. There's two Marks and Spencers now. There's one up here, um, upstairs, and there's one downstairs. Expansion. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna go and get a Leon. <laughs> do my hair let me just like double check something actually because okay today's the 22nd also. sometimes I double check my appointment come like is it the same day um, I'm doing my hair and I'm so excited because I just love doing my hair that's the thought the truth and I'm in like a bad bee and yeah it's like it's not too far from me so I'll see you guys when I get there. Do we get the train? Do you get the train? Because that's come. Oh, okay. 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 It's okay. 24 minutes. And it comes what, every half an hour? Oh, it's funny. I know, but remember walking for a minute. Yeah, I know, but you're walking. <laughs> you can be sitting on the train for 20 minutes. Yeah. Hi See guys, you. welcome to my YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're welcome. I'm just trying to encourage women to, you know. Like, date. Date. There's a really happy a, like her. Uh, yes, yeah, amen. Like, you know, there's some really amazing really happy, men like, out there. You. There, there is. There, there are some great guys. I love that. I love when it just tastes like that. Oh. Are you gonna do like pre made wigs? Yeah. I have them, yeah. Those sell pretty well. I used to think, like, who were buying wigs just off the thing, but now I'm one of those people. I literally always wanted to do this hairstyle, but I just never thought I would ever do it. Because what's her name? House of She does it a lot. Yeah. And I was just like, yeah, and I was just like, such, such a nice, sexy hairstyle.
muffins. I love my hair. I want to make blueberry muffins. Um, so let's go to the baking aisle. Before I actually go and make buy the ingredients for blueberry muffins, let me go and find if I can buy measuring cups or scales because it wouldn't make any sense of me buying all the ingredients and I can't make what I want to make. I have what I need. I was literally gonna just be like, there's no point. So I'm gonna get there and I have bowls out there. Oh, I can measure, so this is what I need. I'm gonna make blueberry muffins, and actually, I'm gonna buy a little one of these two. Anything else that I need? I think I need um, like the cups for the tray because we've got the tray, so I think I need the cups for the tray. So, those are kit. What are these? That's what I need. Oh no, those are silicon. I don't want silicon ones, I want ones that can just throw it away. Okay. goodness I bought quite a bit of stuff let me take my jacket off I'll be back in a second and take my jacket off and wash my hands because outside is dirty <laughs> dirty okay we're back let's wash our hands because oh, I touched quite a few things outside and that's so gross and oh, I love my hair I love 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 she's honestly the best i've only gone to her twice but like this is my second time and the first time i was just like where have i been all my life do you get what i mean like where have you been all my life and i just love it it's just like we did like a beach wave situation and i was telling her i've always wanted to do this but i've just never thought i would do you know when you just see hairstyles you're like oh i'll do that but anyway we are home let me show you the bits that i got from the supermarket good here um and my plaits i don't know if i showed you guys my janky plaits they worked she said she said she was like you did a great job I was like really she was like yeah it's fine i was like thank goodness because from now on i am plaiting my own hair i'm not going to the hairdresser i'm not spending 20 pounds each time i can i want to buy um some more food from my hair um, but yeah, I'm not going to a hairdresser anymore for that. So I've got my ingredients for my blueberry muffins. I've got some fish as well because I want to have a fish wrap for dinner. I've got a spoon, I've got the measuring cup, I've got the yogurt. Um, some vanilla extract, some measuring teaspoons. I'm hoping my AirPod case is in here because I can't find it. It's not in my jacket. If it's lost, then it's lost. Some milk. Okay, it's not lost, thank God. I was like, it's not in my jacket. I'm gonna be so, not that annoyed because I do need a new pair, but just annoyed because when you lose something, it's just annoying. And bacon powder. What else? Oh yeah, and then I tried to video in Superdrug, but I didn't. I was videoing on my phone, and I didn't manage to like um, focus. So I got a blush palette because I use my eyeshadow palette as blush, and it's fine. But it's always pink, and I want to have like more of like an orange brown. So I bought this Revolution, and it was three for two. And then I bought this lipstick, like a brown. I should get like, I should do a partnership with Revolution because I literally 
buy revolution makeup like every other week like i'm not even joking at this point i bought brown i know it's gonna look nice doesn't look very nice right now <laughs> but i'm thinking with like makeup some gloss because i'm always doing like the nudes the pink the nudes the um what else the purple-ish a little bit my harvey harvey nichols i'm so upset i look a bit crazy but harvey nichols my fenty fluff Fleet of flush it still isn't here i messaged them and i said can i have my refund for delivery they said sure they said it's not here by monday but you know i went to the store i'm just so annoyed but it is what it is because this weekend i have stuff to do and i really wanted to do a video with my future flex this lipstick is crazy <laughs> anyway and then i got a gloss i'm sure i can work with this i just need to it's like a brown i'm sure i can work with it i just need to like know what to do so yeah that's what i got in terms of makeup from superdrug i'm actually gonna wipe this off because i look crazy where is the paper towel i just used i'm just gonna use that let's take that shit off okay so oh, i love this hair what I'm thinking of, should I put clips in here just to hold it? No, it'd be ridiculous. I'll just do it later. Let's make some blueberry muffins. Oh, lastly, I got some wine. I have become a wine girl in the past. I was going to say, should I shake it? I'm going to shake it anyway. Um, <laughs> I have become a red wine girl in the past couple of months um my dad loves shiraz and i think i said this on my vlog before we went for dinner once and like he's all we all my we always get him shiraz just like if we're gonna if we're gonna see him or he's coming over we always get shiraz but i just never drink it because i just don't care and we went for dinner or lunch a couple months ago and we had a bottle of together me and my dad and i was like oh, i love this wine i love shiraz and he said yeah it's good so i tried this one from sainsbury's the other day it's jacob's creek and it said double barreled matured selectively finished in aged scotch whiskey barrels and i was like oh i love me some whiskey so yeah i liked it the other time and i finished the bottle and i've never finished a bottle at a grown age when i was younger i used to drink white wine a lot um and i finished this bottle and i was like oh my god but let me let me taste it again see if i like it again oh so good mm. ah anyway just chop this let's mix some blueberry muffins we're gonna find the cupcakes first cupcake tin i really wanna like i i i used to love cooking like i cooked a lot about how old am i say like 2010 when i was 22 to 24 25 i cooked a lot and i loved it so much and it just went away like the love for it i think what i saw for me was that it became more of a task than a hobby because the people you love will try and like well people to be like, oh my god do this do that and then it just became more of a task and i was just like i don't do this anymore like i don't want to do this no more <laughs> slight mistake i thought that i had quite a few bowls but I realized that was in my old flat and we didn't bring bowls back to this flat. So I'm gonna have to use a container. Not that you guys care, but I'm like, oh, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna have to use like this bowl, which I just use for like normal food for the fridge because I didn't have another bowl. I thought I did, but we got rid of so, so, many, so many things. 
So it says using a handheld or stand mixer fitted with a paddle or a whisk attachment, which I do not have. I have a paddle, which is going to be this spoon. Um, beat the butter, the sugar, and the brown sugar together. I understand why people, when bacon, separate everything in the beginning. It makes so much sense. I should have done this before, but my first time baking in a long time, so. <laughs> Cut me some slack, bitch! Cut me some slack! Okay, this is my problem now. Half a cup of unsalted butter. This is the butter that I have, and how many grams is this? This is 200 grams, and it's meant to be 113 grams. So we're gonna do girl math. So if this is 200 grams, half would be 100. Okay, this one, that's not that hard. I'm gonna go right in the middle, and a bit. Guys, who told me to make cake? I forgot that you actually used a lot of strength. Oh my goodness, my arm is hurting. I did not realize that you have to actually put in work because I don't have a mixer. That's on my list now. Oh, my hand is hurting. Look at me, I look like I just got, I just did something dirty and my hand's messy. Oh, I'm getting all over my top. Oh, ah, my arm. Guys. Sorry, I know I'm being annoying, but that tastes so good. I'm just adding in the blueberries. I don't want water to get in it. I'll just rinse down there. Let me add a few more. yesterday I've they've been eaten I just had one just now that's so good the only thing that I did wrong was I put way too much blueberry I should have just stuck with the amount that I had initially but I guess you learn and you live and learn but they're so good um I'm making indomie or like noodles oh let me tell you guys my favorite noodles ever my favorite noodles they are coca noodles oh. guys oh. best my flat is very untidy so tomorrow um i am doing like a shoot i've never done a shoot before but my boyfriend has chanting beaning a lot he has encouraged me um to do a shoot for like social media and like build my content and stuff i've always wanted to do one but i've just always talk myself out of it and you know you just see some girls and they're just so amazing they're just like they're just too good that's no point but my man my man he's like no we're gonna do it so yeah i've been putting outfits together all morning i'm just gonna pack a suitcase because we are going to a hotel tomorrow did you know there was a thing called day use where you can pay to use a hotel room for the day i didn't know that i didn't know that because i was telling my boyfriend like i don't want to do it because the whole change and what am I gonna change? Accessories, earrings, like I like to do the whole shebang. I'm not gonna wear one outfit and then I'm wearing the same accessories. It, it just doesn't, no. And then <laughs> I'm just a bit, I'm a Virgo. Am I focused? Come on, I'm a Virgo. So the way we do things sometimes can be very like, Urgh. so this is a place called day use and the area that i wanted i'm getting everything that i wanted in terms of area the price of it was amazing it was i think 100 pounds what i think is great from 8 a.m till 6 p.m i have the room hotel room for and i can you know it's my hotel i paid for it so i'm going to change it as many times as i like yeah um i just wanted to tell you guys i'm really excited about it i'm nervous but i'm excited um and <laughs> so annoying i bought a, another hair wand because the one that 
a fair use for my hair yesterday i want my hair to be exactly how she did it so i bought a hair wand it's arrived at the store so i'm gonna go and pick it up once i've like packed had something to eat and yeah <laughs> and what must i do today and then my boyfriend and i are going to watch a play called red pitch um in soho so that's later on um but i want to like tidy up this flat and pack all the most almost all the clothes that i need for the shoot and yeah you guys can watch me pack i don't mind but my flat is really untidy please don't come for me because some of you are rude I still have to pack makeup so I'm thinking I have to take that medium suitcase and then a travel one and then I'm still gonna take like a bag but I just want to have everything like I would hate to get there and I'm like fuck I've got this or I left that that would drive me insane <laughs> so I think I'm over packing outfits I'm only meant to shoot five but I'm packing about seven eight just in case when you make noodles, how much, how many instant noodles do you have? I usually eat one and a half. One, I'm having oh, the lobster flavor, guys. Oh my god. It's something else. One and a half. I was listening to, I think, 90s Baby last night. And with Uche and Wumi on it. <laughs> They were talking about Indian or something, and the guy goes, I don't know their names, the, the guy's name, because I've never actually watched the show, to be honest. Um, the guy goes, and the guy goes that he, when he makes Indian, he, <laughs> I was shocked, he said that he boils the water fair enough because it's fast, and he boils the water, he gets the pan, he puts, he crushes the Indian, like breaks it into, cause everyone likes it differently, I like mine, like long, go, he breaks the Indian, he pours it into the pan, puts the seasoning and then he adds the water and then mommy was like wait what <laughs> where's the water he said no he pours the water after and i was like wait huh each to their own and then after that he said that he lets Indomie be cooked he lets Indomie be cooked but by the way he has already put he has already put the seasoning and the noodles in the pot with the water so everything's cooking then he now if there's too much water he now pours water away but they pour away the seasoning like <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I was like, wait, what? Indomie is such a delicious meal and it should not it should not be cooked that way. Or just noodles in general should not be cooked that way. That was awful. I thought that was so funny. I'm eating from the pot because I'm so lazy. I can't bother to like sit down. I just wanna get this over and done with. Does anyone else do that? I'm literally standing in my sister's my dad hates my dad hates it 
when I stand and eat. He just thinks it's just such bad manners. He's like, sit down and eat your food. He despises it. Mm. Chicken noodles, and they have. Sorry, I'm eating my mouthful. So sorry. <coughs> One more thing, and I'm gonna go. They have mushroom flavor, prawn flavor, stir fry flavor, mm, shrimp flavor. I think they have okra flavor as well. Mushroom flavor, vegetable. All the flavors are just amazing. But the fav my favorite one is lobster. Yeah. Yesterday, I'm doing a shoot on the way to the hotel with my man. My man, very supportive. He would say hi, but he's very, very shy. Are you shy, babe? No, okay. No, he's not very shy, he just doesn't like you know the camera. Yeah, we're going. It is currently 7 36. I want to, I was planning to get there for 8, but I think we'll get there for like 8 15. And then my photographer is coming for 10 30. So I need to do my makeup. Um, I plan on putting all the outfits out so it's easy I need to get some stuff ironed or steamed or with a steamer and I need like I only need like three or four cans of coke because I'm not gonna eat because I don't want my belly to like blow and yeah so I'll see you guys when I get there hi guys I haven't vlogged since I got here since I started shooting because it's been hectic I feel like a celebrity there <laughs> <laughs> and this is my photographer, you want to say hi? hi. <laughs> um, shooting our second to last look, it's a bit dark. Um, but I'm wearing this House of CB shorts, this Beau Avenue bra, and this HM jacket. And then, and then I have my Saint Laurent Maxine shoes, I think they're called. Yeah. Do you do 4K 60? Yeah. yeah. That looks good. So yeah, so we're just doing BA some BTS for you guys. I will record like this first. Yeah, no, and do you do I'll do some of me. Aburrido con ganas de que Averiguando qué hacer por la noche Entonces entras en mi cuarto pa' ver Levántate mi amor, hoy vamos a beber Today is Monday. I'm having cooking some dinner. I am making. Hold on. I'm making a potato. Oh, do what I'm gonna do. Oh, that would be nice. So I'm making potatoes, right? It's like baby potatoes. I use a big pot because the other pot that I want to use has oil in it. Anyway, baby potatoes, and then I've seasoned chicken shawarma style with like cinnamon mixed. Wait, did I use all spice? Oh, let me just make sure I use all spice. Yeah, I didn't use all spice. Yeah, all spice, garlic. I put some spring onions in there. I'm gonna like pan fry that, like stir fry it. Well, just put it in the pan and let it cook. And then I've got some cucumber and broccoli for the side. So I was thinking that I'm going to boil the brock, the potato, and then what I read, I've done it before. Um, and then after, when it's cooked, just crush, just put salt and pepper. Sorry, I'm so excited. Salt and pepper, and then put it into the oven, and then it gets crispy. Oh! Mwah! Yesterday, oh, guys, the shoot was so... Well, I think it was good. I don't have the... One I don't have the... I'm, I feel like I'm always in this hoodie, but don't judge me. This is literally my favourite house clothes. Um, I... My shoot... Yeah, it was really good. I it was so funny because I was telling Yonce, that's the photographer's name, that over the years I've always wanted to do something like this, but I've just never taken the courage 
or I've always misplaced my priority. So if I did have the money to shoot, I'm just like, oh no, like, or you just, what's the word? Um, self imposter, imposter syndrome. And when you think of all the like girls who are, you know, influencers already or like, okay, it can be, it can be quite in, a little bit intimidating. I'm not going to lie. You're just like, ah, oh, but look at their content. The content is so good. Like, ah, oh, ah. Oh. But then my boyfriend literally has been trying to, he's been encouraging me for a long time. Like, just do it, just do it, just do it. And I met her at his shoot. He did like a fashion show a couple of weeks ago. And she was like, we need to work together. I was like, okay. But yeah, it was good. I'm really looking forward to the photos. I should be getting them by this week. We have photos, we have reels, we have just like things that I can use on all platforms. Um, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, I just hope that I I, I want to stick to it. You know, I want to I want to make sure that I just don't do it once and I let it go once I let it go. I want to like make sure. But the thing is, right? And this I know this might be negative or whatever, but I I don't know any like influencers or like content creators. Let's call them content creators personally. I only many know them through a friend or a friend of a friend. And then you hear a lot of people who are discouraged or they say like you have downtime where like your posts aren't doing well. And for me, I never say never, but I said to myself that I couldn't see myself being a full-time content creator in the sense that that's my only stream of income because I know how I get and I like to get go into my shell there's sometimes I just don't want to post there are sometimes I just don't want to talk to anybody like and for me I feel like being a full-time content creator is like you have big balls that's in my opinion you have big balls because you always have to show up like if you don't show up you're not going to get paid and when I hear these things like oh you know you have some slow times and down times I'm like I can't live like that like I need to know that I am making an x y amount every month and obviously that's why it's always good to invest your money and make sure that you're putting your money in the right places but before I was like oh no I don't want to do a nine to five blah, 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 blah. but now I'm like what I'm doing now and the, and the industry that I'm going into is going to make me a lot of money but not only that there's longevity in like five years ten years like I could be making six figures a month, roughly. Do you know what I mean? And I, was like, I would love to do that and do content. Because for me, it's like, what if I don't want to post for three months because I'm sad? Do you know what I mean? Or like, let's say hypothetically I'm pregnant and I don't want to post. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't believe in relying on a man. I feel like a man should look after you, but it's like, I never want to rely on somebody. So I always have to have my own money. I don't know if I'm making sense. My whole, essentially what I'm trying to say is like, I just couldn't imagine just solely doing content creation. I love it. I know I'm not like in the big, in the big course yet. Cause I'm going to get there. But having that as my sole and only income, I don't know if I can do it because there's some days where you're just sad or some days you just don't want to talk to there's some days you don't want to post there's some days you don't want people like adding you funny enough let me see what happened right i um was in the nail shop right and i understand why she did it but at the same time it was a bit like okay um i was in the nail shop and i saw an influencer i'm not gonna say the influencer's name because i don't want to please be like a weirdo um so the content creator is the influencer and she's been in the game for a long time um i saw her and i looked at her and i was like oh she really looks like that girl from 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 TikTok. I always see her on my TikTok ads and stuff like that. And I was like, she looks really familiar. I looked at her and she was looking at me as well. Like we were looking at each other. And I was like, really and I was like, excuse me. I was like, are you an influencer? You look really. She was like, no. And I was like, are you sure? <laughs> well, are you sure? She was like, no. She was like, I don't know. She basically looked me straight in my face and was like, you're crazy. And I was like, I swear on my life, this girl. So obviously, she was sitting like three seats away from me. I was on my phone like. I was like. That's her. But then I thought, okay, maybe I was, I was like, that's really weird. Should have just said, yeah, I'm, I'm a content creation, content creator, and like left it because of, maybe I don't know. But I was like, I couldn't imagine you could you're a content creator, people are constantly talking to you as well. I was like, hmm, maybe she doesn't actually like the attention. Maybe she just 
wants to get on with her day without people asking, excuse me, are you country? Are you, are you, are you? So I thought that but too and I was like, there's so many like pros and cons of doing this thing. And again, I know I'm like still in like the baby steps of it, but having people constantly talking to your people, constantly like stopping you like, okay, especially when you're an introvert, because a lot of people who do this thing as well are quite introverted. I've noted that like, I've been told <laughs> a few times um, that they didn't expect me to be so, like not chatty or quite or quiet. And I was like, why the lot of because on social media you come across very like, you know, hyper. And I was like, yeah, but that's with at home or with my friends. But I don't know you, so am I gonna be in your face? But yeah, it's just it's just a, it's just a food 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 for thought. Oh, be careful. Come here. Okay. Give him the phone. I'm going to say hello. Hi. 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 Hi, Mommy. Hi. 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 I don't know, my love for pickles just grew. Maybe oh, he's taking his baby language. He's not speaking in baby language, he's not a baby. Is he not a baby anymore? No, I, yeah, he's four. Are you a good guy? No, I'm four. He's four. <laughs> no, I'm four. Guys, look what finally came. Look what finally came. My future flex. You know, from the last vlog, I literally searched all the boots, didn't get it, and then I ordered it on Harvey Nichols. Um, and believe you me, they said so I ordered it on the Saturday on the 16th, I remember so well, and it said it dispatched a whole week, it hadn't arrived. So I'm just like, okay, by like the Friday, it's been like a week. So I was like, okay, so I mentioned them, I was like, can I have my delivery refunded? They were like, okay, cool, if it's not here by Monday, um, we'll send you a new one. So Monday, I messaged them, I was like, hi, where's my lip gloss? <laughs> um, and it was out of stock the whole time, so I just ordered it on Boots. Um, the reason why I didn't order it on Boots in the first place was because, and this is quite dumb, but I, I'm one of those Boots points people. I like to get my points. And because I, I changed my number and it didn't allow me to log in, and I was like, I didn't want to buy on the Boots website without me having it straight the point do you, that make any sense so i'm not buying it on boots unless i buy it in person and then obviously i did i did obviously have the opportunity to buy it when i was in the liverpool street boots but i didn't because i was just, thought i was being an eager beaver but yeah now i have it and it's just such an amazing color should i put it on for you guys let me just put it on for you guys oh it's so mm, and it smells insane a bit crazy not so funny wearing lipstick without any makeup on it is just always so funny and i'm gonna obviously this weekend it's bank holiday weekend so i'm gonna play with makeup i'm gonna use this destiny beauty lip liner in the color muse let me see it's gonna look yeah it's gonna look it's gonna look so good it's gonna look so good obviously it's look, it looks look crazy because i'm having no makeup it looks so good i think i might even like put i have like a dark brown mix this with the dark brown and this i'm so excited this one's amazing it just looks so pretty as well like focus focus on that and focus on me focus on the glass focus on the glass let me get out the frame and see if it's gonna focus no it's not going to it's not going to but you can just see how pretty it is. It's just such a pretty colour and it has loads of like I'm really trying. Yeah, no, I, I still haven't figured out how to do this camera. I'm a work in process. 
um, such a pretty color. I haven't actually, actually no, I had a Fenty lip gloss, but I gave it to my mom, I never really like the color. But I haven't really like used a full gloss of Fenty before. And also, I'm not gonna lie, spending 20 pounds on a lip gloss is just not my thing. Um, yeah, like, it's just not my thing. And this was only because Uchi told us to buy it. <laughs> or Uchi to put it on. But spending 20 quid on a lip gloss, I'm like a five pounds, 10 pounds, fifth, yeah, 10 pounds max. Yeah. And then also, funnily enough, I was gonna compare it to the Revolution, and it's not the same as the Revolution because just the consistency and this, the way this feels in my lips, the Revolution one is very like, like tacky. And like bitsy it's not very nice i'm not gonna lie but i do love revolution but the formula of that lip that sparkly lip gloss is just not nice um but anyway i'm gonna end the vlog here because i need to edit this so i'm editing right now as you can my laptop here oh and i'm gonna end the vlog here because it's Wednesday, I'm not really doing much anymore and Friday's the weekend, it's bank holiday and I'm going to be, I'm going to start a new vlog then. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog and I will see ya later.